Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Fallout 2. Just wanted to let you know, um, I, I have gained a level, uh, it's because I, I went on a little bit of a, a murder, robot murder spree. Um, I wiped out every robot on, uh, the second level, which, let me tell you, is not as easy as it might sound. Um, but first of all, uh, so I have two containers. This container has kind of story-related stuff. And I'm going to have to come back here and pick some things up. But for now, like, I don't actively need these things right now. Um, I am going to try and get more science for uh, Elmandretta because you need some... Uh, I've seen different numbers. I've seen 120, I've seen 125, and I've seen 130 to get the, the cyber brain. And I want that, which is going to take some levels. So... <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna let that go. Um, we're we're not gonna finish the quest here, but I've uh, got all of like a whole bunch of story related stuff or quest related stuff in there, and then over here I have stuff that I need to come back and pick up and then sell and stuff like that. So there's a lot of stuff. Um, currently we are pretty much as overloaded as we can get, which does mean that I'm going to have a problem when I get back to town and my buff out runs out. But, you know, we'll, we'll deal with that when the time comes. I, I do have some books that I can immediately read once that happens. <clears throat> so that's not too much of an issue. Um, but I do also have a level, because uh, I think it was like at, at 69 or something like that. Um, I destroyed all of those robots that were just standing around. Um, I had to take out that one that uh, was really annoying. That, Like, none of them react except for one, and you gotta take that one out. The second it takes damage, it starts uh, attacking, and it sets off the alarm on the level. <clears throat> Which is kind of annoying, but it's it, it could be worse. But uh, you gotta take that one out first, and ideally you gotta take it out really fast. But... Um, after wiping out everything in that room, I got over 8,000 experience points just from that. Just from destroying robots that aren't doing anything, I got tons of points. So I'm going to keep my skill points um, unallocated for now. <clears throat> because it's all going to go into science once I use the uh, big books of science. But there are two other things that... Uh, well, there's one other thing that we can do with two things in here before we leave. I figure I might as well. Uh, the alarm is, has triggered. I could open up these monster closets and release those cr those uh, monsters. I don't think there are any of the rocket wielding ones. Those are the ones that are annoying. Uh, but I have the, the pulse grenades and I'm going to keep the pulse grenades uh, on me because um, damage 100 to 150 they don't do any damage against uh, human creatures. But they will, if if you get a really good shot, because those, uh, um, the rocket-wielding ones have 100 hit points, sometimes you'll get, like, 99, 98 damage out of these, but generally you'll get a bit more, and otherwise these things, this, this will take out every single robot that it hits. The problem is my throw skill sucks, so. <coughs> I, I kind of have to, uh, save and reload to get it to work. But... Uh, we can actually use these punching bags. You take some time out to uh, practice some moves. Your unarmed combat skills increase by 5%. Alright. Um, my buff out hasn't actually uh, run out yet, which is pretty good. But So each of those you can use once to increase your melee by 5% each, unarmed. I guess it's unarmed and not melee. <clears throat> but still, might as well, right? Alright, so with this, we can head on back. <clears throat> Let my buff out expire. Let's go ahead and quick save. Yeah, so I had a quick save right before taking them all out. It was it was good times. It was good times. 
Um, and I also got uh, the new combat armor on Sulik and Cassidy, I think. You should encounter a gang. Sure, I should have changed my weapons. 145 out of 95. It's it's fine. You gain 90 experience points for successful use of the an outdoorsman skill. Oh. Big gun thug. <clears throat> I'm not sure that I like this. Well, let's see what you got to say. What you doing in my hood? Scram! Thirty-one. Need five action points. Is this uh, is this better? Yeah, this is better. Oh. So what was I doing in your hood? I was dismembering you. That's what. Now, I'm wor really worried about these two, though. Probably should have gone after them. Get off our turf! Oh, flamethrowers. Is he dead? No, he's just knocked to the ground. Oh, did you get uh, destroyed? Just don't kill Sulik, please. It's not a great place for you to stand, Sulik, but too slow. I've seen choices that you're doing, Sulik. Well, you're dead. And you're dead. Of course, I am extremely overloaded. I can take the I apparently cannot take the caps. Let's see if I can become addicted to a buff out if I use it. Nope. There we go. So I don't really care about flamers. <clears throat> Combat shotgun. I mean, that's like money that I could use, but... Pretty much everyone is overloaded at the moment. Feels terrible to leave this money behind, but, uh, you know. And by money, I mean the stuff that I could sell for money. Rather than the actual money that I am taking. I probably should have just uh, not encountered them, but whatever. Row. Yeah, let's go down to, uh... My stats should all be correct. Yep. <clears throat> so I'm overloaded, but, uh... Just gotta, just gotta slowly me mosey on down. It's fine. Oh, actually, I know what I can do. Um... Big Book of Science, Big Book of Science, Big Book of Science, Dean's Electronics, Dean's Electronics, First Aid Book. There we go. That, uh, that freed up quite a bit of weight. 
And science is up to 75, repair is 74, and first aid is 79. I'm still overloaded, but that's fine. I'll, I'll be selling some stuff. Um, good measure, let's take that. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot really use the plasma rifle with my weight of 4, or strength of 4. So I will still be relying on either a laser pistol or my uh, solar scorcher. <clears throat> All right, you got metal armor mark two. I don't know how good that is. F and fall. He's got no caps. Oh, that's pretty crappy. Alright, well, I can... I could probably get the uh, Metal Armor Mark II. Let's... Ouch. Uh, okay. Actually, that's uh, super close. I not carry that much. Hmm. I need to use a buff out, or I could drop some things. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, let's uh take a look. Uh it does not look like the Metal Armor Mark II is uh better. However, I cannot believe you guys went in there. Alright, I need to trade 35 weight worth. Combat control. Use the best armor. So that's a bit of an improvement over the that metal armor. That is it for now. All right. Um, let's really crappy that he doesn't have any uh he doesn't have any caps i uh kind of disappointed Yeah, that's a lot of cash right there. Um, okay, let's see. Yeah, let's see. All right. How is that uh, doing on my weight? Okay.
I'm at my maximum carrying capacity. What you be needing? You are at your maximum carrying capacity, pretty much. But what if I give you these? What if I just overload you, huh? That way I can carry more, and that's really what's important. Kind of sucks that you can't just force yourself to be overloaded. What you be <coughs> mm, Sorry, I'm coughing. I don't know why. Might be a little something tickling my throat or something. Go, Sulik will just be overloaded for a bit. I mean, he's got two sets of uh, metal armor Mark II, uh, not Mark II, just regular metal armor that I need to get rid of. Yeah, let's just uh, overload you. That's not actually overloading you. I didn't actually make the trades. So I actually did uh, um, hit the volume... Ah, and I didn't do it again. Jeez. I actually did hit the volume capacity on those uh, containers outside the army base. I'm just going to do enough so that I'm not grossly overloaded. There we go. Yeah, Sulik is overloaded. It's fine. All right, now I need to get up here now. And I think that this will um, make me a made man for the Wright family, uh, which I don't really want to do. Where am I? Once I get my car, I'll probably end up picking up a lot of that stuff that I, uh, I left there. All right, do you have... Actual caps. Now, yeah, you do, and you also have uh, some other things that I want. Good, 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 good. I'll take all of those. Uh, I just need uh, need my people to uh, catch up. Oh, that's, uh, that's a little ridiculous there. That's a little ridiculous. Uh, not gonna lie. Okay, what about that many? There we go. Okay, how much for all of these? Is that going to cover it? That's pretty good. That is a good trade. We're looking at uh, 600 for that. Um, I might get the buff out and the rat away. Actually, I should get the rat away. For sure. Yeah, that'll be... That will do it uh, quite well. Okay. 
Okay, you need to move out of the way. I need to go... find you guys. Actually, can I... No, I need, uh, I need to clear up nine pounds. What, Jimmy? That'll do it. Give me one set of metal armor. Not sure where Vic went, but there he is. He's he's making his way. And we're not uh, we're not getting spammed anymore. Isn't that nice? Okay. Eleven twenty-five. I do not mind paying twenty-five just to get that off my hands. So the, the nice thing about the drugs is that that's that's fantastic um, weight exchange for cash. What you be? I will take your other one. Armor is among the most valuable, but it's also by far, like, the heaviest. There we go. Alright, Vic, where are you? There you are. I'm sorry you're overloaded. I'll take care of that. There we go. That's it for now. You guys need more caps. He's a pharmacist, and everything that I'm selling him is not drug-related. It's kind of hilarious. Okay, so for Mentat, 6.30... About 800, I, th I guess. Do I have anything worth, like, close to that? What, Jibby? I don't know about close to that, but... Let's see what else you got. Um... I'll hold on to those for the moment. And Cassidy, let me give you something. If you are not too close to being overloaded yourself, you are not good. Nope, didn't mean to click talk. Okay, you grab one of these. I'll take one of these. I'll take that. That should do... Still carrying a lot of, around a lot of guns to uh, get rid of, but that'll come. All right. Uh, 425. What about one of these? Okay. I'll take that. That works for me. 
All right. 425. So I'll need to get rid of that some on someone. But we're good on uh, weight at the moment, so that's not too bad. Uh, let me actually go ahead and unequip that and get you re-equipped. All right, let's go see the rights. I'll save it first just to see if that, uh, how that uh, affects my get critical, huh? Whether that makes me a made man for them. I mean, really, they're by far the least offensive of the, uh... Of the four families. Because they've got, um... I mean, they, they basically just do alcohol. Thanks for finding out who killed Richard, Elmandretta. We owe you big, and the rights always pay their debts. What can I do for you? Uh, sorry to bother you. you like my fancy new armor? Ah, uh, it's you. You got some good news for me? Find a way into that army base? Yes, I managed to get inside and found a lot of old weapons and military hardware there. And it's all there for the taking. Now about my payment. Screw this job and screw you. I'm out of here. Eyes gleam. You done good, Elmandretta. Go to the Cat's Paw and New Reno Arms. Tell them you're from me, and they'll set you up. Your family now, made man, and all Reno's gonna know it. Thanks, Mr. Wright. If I'm a made man, then I'd like to be called... All the same things. Whoops, didn't mean to take Wrighty, but whatever. So you only get the experience points for becoming uh, a made man. Righty, I like it, I like it. It's got style. Now you stop on by the Cat's Paw and New Reno Arms, and they'll take care of you. You need free hooch? Head on by the train station, too. I'll set you up. Thanks, I'll do that. Made man, right. Yeah. Alright, so we don't want to do that yet. If ever, really. But that's, uh... That's becoming a made man of the Wright family. Um, not exactly sure what you get for being a made man at the Cat's Paw. I assume it's just a uh, discount at uh, the New Reno Arms, which doesn't have any cash, which is really annoying. You know what? Do you have cash? A little bit. I mean, I suppose I could get all of that. It is kind of the equivalent of portable cash. I don't have a whole lot that's worth only 260 right now, though. There was a guy, like, in the... Yeah, in the bathroom here. Let's see if, uh... He has caps. Money. He's got a little bit. Yeah, Yuck. And what about you? No, never mind. Sorry to bother you. All right. Well, um, so we've got to, gotten to the point where we can become a made man of uh, a couple of different families. Let's actually talk to this chem dealer first because he sh may have some ma some money. One seventy.
I'll take it. Would that be f another 170? That's too much. That's too much. What all of this cash? I don't care about the other stuff. That's fine. He can keep his, uh, he can keep his knife. Alright, but, um, when we come back next time, uh, let's check out the other families, see what, uh, what they've got to offer us. Um, I'll probably run back to the, uh, military base just to get the story-related stuff that I need, but otherwise I'm... I'm going to leave most of that stuff, and I'm just going to, like, leave all the ammo there. Um, and it'll just be essentially a place where I run back to when I'm feeling like I'm low on ammo. Which may not really be a thing, but we'll see. Anyway, that will be next time. See you then, everyone.